Hey guys, it's been, man, it's been a weird week for me and I'm feeling just kind of uh, not what's the opposite of present, distant from reality right now, but um, I'm going to be filming a flip through of my video and I'm going to try to stay positive and not let my weird mental state um, bleed into uh, what I'm showing you today because this planner system has been working for me and um, that's good. I feel like I've actually been on top of my tasks with the whatever's going on in my head is not been impacted by or impacted by planning system, if that makes sense. We're zoomed in very close. My hands are normal size and this is a pocket size Milofax Malden in the color ochre. I've been in this thing for like, I don't know, a year and a half now and I love it. Um, and let's just go ahead and jump in. We'll start with our pockets. I've got my driver's license and some credit cards in the front, a uh, library card and medical card in here. Back here is like some gift cards. And I don't think I have any change. Who knows? I haven't used cash since quarantine started. Um, we'll skip to the back real quick and then I'll adjust this. Um, in the back, I have a couple of these Planner Kate samplers. Oh, and this one is a Twin 16 sampler. So I was thinking of maybe using some of these in my weekly. Um, and then back here is the card that I used to cut my washi tape. And this was some notes I took for something on some note paper. It's stuck back here and I forget what they're about. I will have to check into that at some point. I'm using a Muji gel pen. This is the 05. And then in my back pocket, I've got some of the cash I haven't been using. That's it. Um, normally I keep a couple of like checks back here as well. Um, and also some more stickers on the go generally I keep in here. But since I've been stuck at home for quarantine, I have taken all of that out kind of streamline it and all of my stickers are just in my desk drawer because that's where I do my planning for the week. So um, let's begin. I saw this in my May plan with me. Little Baby Yoda is keeping me company for Star Wars month. It's a thing, right? At least Star Wars day. Um, the All of the dividers in here, except for this one that says today, all of the plastic dividers and tabs in here are from Marlene's plan to, to create on Etsy. Um, and so this cover here with the little vinyl now on it, um, as well, I got to pick what the word said. So this is the word I chose. And then just yesterday, it was like the day that that the picture of this divider went live on my Instagram feed, that something happened. I left it open, like maybe too near my running laptop or something. And it, the O peeled up and I had to push it back down. It seems to be sticking fine now, but if it looks a little bit wonky, it's because it was stuck down by hand and I think there's a little bit in the middle that's bubbly. So that's a shame, but I think if worse comes to worse, I'll just remove this and it be a blank one. Like that's what I was looking for in the first place. So I'm kind of liking it. Anyway, we're going to try to move a little bit faster from here on out. This I just printed with my photo printer or it is a photo printer, but it's a normal printer and uh, didn't do a great job on normal paper. I think I found a better setting, so I might try this idea again um, with a different picture for June. Here's my May. Uh, this is all from the Play With Me video. Um, this just has a couple of dates on it and I cross them out once they've passed. And then I do reference this at least once a week to know um, what tasks should be done on a certain day. And if there's something that I want to do on a certain day, like compost bin. I'm buying a bucket that I'm going to use as a compost bin, but I need to drill holes in it. So we're getting, we're picking it up on Saturday and then I'll, that's like a project. So I put it on a date because that's the day I can work on it. Um, these are my context items, next action items. And I feel like I'm missing a context here. I like, what was it? An actual, an errand one or this one here. Oh, smog check. See, it's on here, but it doesn't have a column. I need to get smog checked, but I don't know when. <laughs> I think I might send my husband. Um, there's a lot of stuff around the house. Now that I'm stuck at home working from home, I'm noticing all the things that are messy, but not having necessarily time to stop what I'm doing and clean them all. So I went through and I brain dumped everything. I put a dot next to the things that I could theoretically do, like on my lunch break or something. And then I used a random number generator to select one. So the first one I will focus on is this one, organizing the bedroom closets. I just want to move some things around because they're a bit of a mess. This is not the most pressing thing, but it's what the random number generator told me to do. And that's fine by me. <laughs> I'm 
going to link up in the corner my um, origami method video, which is basically the same idea, but with strips of paper. Um, this habit tracker is a new addition since my May Plan with me. This is a My Summer Touch habit tracker, the uh, fold out for the month. And I just felt like there were some more things that I needed to be tracking that didn't all fit on my weekly. Um, I need to start taking iron as well as just my normal prenatal because I take a, a gummy vitamin because I'm a little child and they're yummy. <laughs> so I need to take the iron separately. Um, and then a couple other things on here. And some of them I am doing better at than others. The tasty, tasty prenatal I do every single day. And the gardening I do every single day because I don't want the plants to die. So I go out there at least once a day to at least look and maybe water a couple. Um, exercise I do not every day. And then I'm trying, this is a bad idea because I keep forgetting to like, I'm guessing generally with this. And so it's not really telling me anything besides guessing. Um, but it does kind of guilt me a little bit into like not drinking too many other other ranges from soda to milk so you know it could mean anything as well <sighs> but tracking how much water i drink is good because a lot of times i don't drink enough and i should be drinking probably at least two big glasses a day just throughout the day uh, this is my bra tracker i feel like i've done a whole video on this at some point and if i can find it i'll link it in the corner <laughs> but basically it tells me when i need to wash my bra and then this is my one line a day journal tracker. Just, it is in here as a reminder to fill it out. Every couple of days, I just write a little bit of a, you know, what happened. This uh, page, I'm not really referencing right now. This is the, all my routines from my summer touch, but I have it just sort of holding the sticky note that also I'm not really using, but it's in theory supposed to remind me of the places that I should be checking in my planner on days where my brain is not even working. My waiting on list, and I should probably just, no, not really. I was going to put smog check, but no. I was going to say, smog check can't actually wait until after quarantine is over. Um, or maybe it can. I should look into that. <laughs> but basically, this is a list of things that I want to do after, you know, society exists. Someday maybe list, I want to redo at some point, because there are some of these that I put dots next to, meaning that I wanted to work on them. Um, and then it kind of changed my mind. So... Here's my weekly section. I did this in May plan, with, May plan With Me as well, you saw that. So it makes me happy. So this was uh, the week of Star Wars Day, or Cinco de Cuatro, and I kind of just went for a sort of grayscale... It's like, yeah, it's supposed to be kind of spacey, which is why I included this washi tape here, because it fit. Um, and this is a... Peanuts Planner Co. freebie, actually. You can go to her, web, her sorry, her Facebook page. Center them. You can go to Peanuts Planner Co.'s Facebook page to download this for free. Um, so this is the, this is the same thing. So you can that so you can see. Uh, this is the one I did the weekly plan with me video of. I should still have a spare card to use for that. Um, I really liked how this turned out with all the blue. It looks really pretty um, and more or less useful. The horizontal days across the top kind of throw me off a little bit. And then um, I stuck this in the middle because I wanted to have a daily for Saturday. And then I didn't use the other side of it. I'll just toss it. This is what I'm in for this week. Um, I'm, I am I made this myself. This is just on the back of the other one, the blank side on the back of that one. And this is a piece of grid paper. I'm going to try to spend the next few weeks kind of working on an idea I've had for like a weekly that's separated into weekday and weekend because um, I've kind of felt lately like a lot of my tasks get pushed to the weekend and I want to have a separate to-do list for the weekend. That's what this is. There's nothing on it yet. Now I'm filming this on Wednesday. I have time. Generally it's Thursday, Friday I think that I start looking ahead to the weekend's tasks. Like for example that compost bin. Right. I should put that here. as well as this isn't a plan with me what we're doing saturday 10 a.m groceries we're doing walmart grocery pickup i still love it so on the same note these are the sort of pencil lines i've drawn down for next week um based on what i could already tell was something i wanted to improve from the current week so i'll keep working on it 
eventually it's, I'm going to make it into a printable and then I think at that point I'll probably upload it to my website for you guys to download if you want to use it yourselves. I'm still tweaking it and this is for me so you know I'm not asking you to pay me so you don't get a say basically. The section is general projects. Um, these are the books that I have checked out from the library. No due date currently because it's closed. This is my watch list, like things that I want to watch on wherever. And then this is the stuff I want to watch with my husband. Hopefully I'll have energy in the evenings again sometime soon. But lately it's just been the, the act of being an adult human uh, while pregnant has been exhausting for me. And I've been going to bed at like, well, trying to go to bed at like 8.30. Um, these are gift ideas. This is a My Summer Touch insert. So I have it on the front and the back. And this is my personal wish list for if I need like ideas to tell people to get me gifts or whatever. Um, covering this up, this is where I keep track of my um, Visa gift cards that I use to pay for my Patreon subscriptions. This next section is for reference stuff generally. So I like this uh, little Harry Potter sticker here as my cover. And that's the back of it. So uh, this is my inbox. It says inbox at the top, but I'm covering up the bit at the top with numbers that you don't need. They're private. Um, these are the measurements of the things in my daughter's nursery because I was trying to figure out if we could fit a toddler bed in there as well. And I think we can. I'm going to show it to my husband and see what he thinks. I think 29 inches is enough to be walking around. This is a master list of things that I'm currently working on in <laughs> Sherry. And things that I need to, like small repairs that need to be made as far as crafting and sewing and knitting and all of that. Um, at least just I know that there's a place where it's written down, so I'm not going to forget about them entirely. And that's enough to calm me um, when I feel the stress of like, oh, are you not working on that? At least I know it's written down somewhere. These are the actual instructions for the blanket that I'm knitting. So I can just have it with me instead of having to pull it up on my phone or pull out the big printed out version from the bag. And then this is my row counter. So I'm just putting an X every time I've finished a row. These are some ideas, some notes. Like there was supposed to be a VBS section. I was helping to plan VBS. It's very much in the air. And so it's all condensed into one page of notes. Here's the, here we go. These are the nursery measurements. I think this is what it's going to look like. Leave the crib and the dresser where they are, but then put a toddler bed in the room here. And then it doesn't have a footboard. If I still have a card, the toddler bed that I'm looking at is on my registry, which I looked at in last Sunday's video. This is a backyard. It, it, there's, there's changes to this. Um, we're, we're still, you know, it's, this is the grand future vision, but, um, I think there's some things that are different about it. Um, mostly I did this in pencil actually, so I probably can fix it myself. Uh, some notes about stuff. This is my garden layout, just in case I forget. Um, these are some notes for things that I want to plant. And then this is uh, sort of a general to-do list as I'm going through the day of like, oh, I really need to do this and this in the garden when I have a chance. I did a whole bunch of stuff on Saturday, which is awesome. These are the notes for the, um, bridal shower that me and my family are trying to throw for my brother and his fiance. Most of the notes are in a Google Doc that was shared, but these are some notes in here as well. And then this next section is for my pregnancy. Um, this is the year at a glance calendar from the Peanuts Planner Co yearly bundle. And I um, in, like wrote over the week, the week numbers with like how many weeks I am pregnant. Um, so currently I am, where are we? May, 23 weeks. And um, then the little pink stripe is when trimesters begin and end. So at 27 weeks, I will be in my third trimester. So it's just good to know and do data circle there. It's just helpful to have that as a reference. This one, I'm not gonna bother hiding any of this. This is um, my health log and it's a My Summer Touch insert and it just sort of, you know, sometimes I write stuff down. Uh, this is all covered up, but this is where I keep track of my appointments. The next page is <laughs> questions for the doctor. I'm not showing you that either. This is also some, some random notes from phone calls with doctors. This is where I have started a weekly log of my weight and blood pressure because we're doing a lot of telehealth and stuff. 
um, and so I'm not going to be going into the office as much. So I'm just monitoring my blood pressure. If it gets weird, um, then that would be something that maybe I would call the doctor and they would take me in for a urine test. Um, because like as you move into the third trimester is when you start monitoring for preeclampsia, which I'm not like at an, an increased risk for or anything, but I have gained, I've gained some weight. Every pound I gain is good because uh, the first trimester I actually lost weight and so working on that. I sort of tried to graph my weight on here. It's not, eh, we'll see. It'll be pretty, but it didn't fit the entire pregnancy. And I only really have, and I also like, I did it all wrong, but whatever, I'll keep, I can go from here on. This is my sort of New Year's resolution tracker. I have not filled out all of May, but I have a place where I'm keeping track of the days. I feel like at this point I need a new monthly goal that I've had doing Mama Strong exercises as my goal um, for the last, this is the third month now, and it's starting to feel not new anymore. I think I might need to start making a goal about my diet. Um, maybe I should just be drinking water. I, I don't want to ask myself to give up soda, <laughs> but I probably should, or, you know, less candy or whatever. I don't know. Um, I kind of don't want to do that though, which is why I'm putting it off. Next section is for video and blog production stuff. So this is all old. You know what is here. Just cover up the next couple of videos, but this is just my video production schedule. So this is a My Summer Touch insert. Um, it's just the entire year and it gives you a line per day. And so I like that it's a grid because I can kind of use it as check boxes. The right column is an Instagram post for the day. And then I put a check in the second from the right column when I've finished that blog post or video. Um, they're all color coded versus for like what day of the week they are or where they are. It makes sense to me. And it's, I like that it's compact and also that it's in here. It doesn't take up a lot of space and I can look back and see what I did in the past. And it just, it's a system that's working for me to make it easier for me to plan for the future. So now that we are more than halfway into May, um, I need to go ahead and, and plan out my June very soon, the next week or two. Next are like a, a video ideas list and a to-do list generally. And then I've got this goal planning insert that I use for smaller projects. Um, there's a couple things written on the other side that I didn't want to show you. And then this one here uh, is a savings tracker where I basically put, there you see, date plus or minus balance and misc. So I put like what it's for. Um, this is like my PL for my channel. So when I get ad revenue in, then I can like spend that on gear for the channel or whatever. This next section is my future log. This little hedgehog still makes me very happy from the little red house. This is the future log itself. Um, I have been going through and crossing off things um, just cause I kind of, I feel like the impact of it is important. You know, it's like, look, from March on, this year is just not what we expected and it's okay to just acknowledge that. Um, this is my and afterwards. Um, so I got dates for Comic-Con for 2021. Um, Agnes is going to be a thousand days old in next March. So I put that there so I wouldn't forget. And then we want to do a potted Meyer lemon tree next spring, but it's like a very late, late winter, early spring thing. So we're going to plant it in February. Um, and then on the back of that is the, you know, and afterwards. So any other year after that. So like the car seat that we have expires in October, 2022. And I don't want to forget that. And this is a place where it's not taking up space and I don't have to worry about forgetting it. Birthdays and anniversaries. This one's been in here for two full years now. So three calendar years. Um, recurring task list. I go through this at least once a month, this whole section once a month. I just do take note of things that need to happen. These go on to this list. So they go from like, there's dates on here and they're like date specific. So I want to do certain things around the middle of the month or the beginning or the end. And then I have a couple pages of spare paper in here. I was down to like none. And then I realized I kind of wanted to have just a couple so that if I was taking notes on something elsewhere in the house, I didn't have to run into the office to grab a piece of paper for it. And then in the back is this flyleaf here that I got from like AliExpress or something. And it's a little tight. The, the holes are a little bit tight, but it works and it protects the back page. 
which is what's important. And that is everything, guys. I hope that you enjoyed a look at what my planner is doing for me right now. It's May 2020, and you all know what that means. So I hope that you are hanging in there and taking care of yourselves and not letting your planner stress you out. Let it be a tool to help you. Uh, that's all I have to say. Don't forget to subscribe. I post videos twice a week, so the next one is going to be on Sunday, and I will see you there. Bye!